Okay, so I uh, had to disassemble my uh, my heater. You got one of them E8 codes, and uh, yeah, the inside was pretty uh, it's pretty gross. I mean, the exhaust pipe was all sooted up, and the uh, the burn chamber itself was pretty gross. So I uh, I disassembled it. I didn't really shoot any videos. There's there's four screws on the outside. There's four screws on the inside. Be careful you don't mess up the uh, the gasket. And uh, yeah, scrape all that stuff out. Hit it with some brake clean to really clean it out good. Make sure it's evaporated before you fire that thing up again. And uh, yeah, it uh, took me about three cycles to clear the E8 code. Uh, and it still burns some white smoke at, at startup, but as soon as it flames up, then uh, then it burns clean. So I had an additive that uh, diesel conditioner or that that fuel injector cleaner. That's what it is. Uh, yeah. It was pretty gummed up. Pretty gross. Uh, I'm still going to run the uh, heat bank modification now that it's all cleaned up and everything because I still don't believe you guys. Like, this diesel heater community is by far the most toxic community I've ever been around. Like, nothing but haters. Everyone's having the same problems with their machines coking up and nobody has any real solutions. So if you're gonna get one of these things, these especially these Chinese knockoffs, uh, disassemble it before you fire it up. Make sure it's assembled right. Put it together yourself so you know it's put. It's you know it's eight bolts and uh, and uh, glow plug. My glow plug wasn't even tight. I took it out with my fingers. Just came out. So uh, yeah, that's not cool. Um, you know, get like a rebuild kit with you or a rebuild kit. They're like 20 bucks just in case you destroy a gasket. Mine came out fine. Went back together. Good. Uh, yeah. I'm going to keep running some tests on this thing because it's not really, you know, it's more of a hobby for me now, but, uh, yeah. I want to figure out this altitude thing. I think that's the problem with the white smoke at the beginning. It's trying to figure out how to program the altitude in. Because as soon as it fires up, then it, it burns clean. It's just it's just that, that priming stage in the beginning that it, it pumps out a bunch of white smoke. So yeah. Anyways, it's Uncle Kyle signing off. Uh, I'll probably have another video coming up. And uh, yeah, we'll see once I tinker on this thing some more and figure things out and maybe I can be your source of information because there's a lot of trolls man a lot of trolls, a lot of haters, a lot of people out there just to ruin someone's day and I don't want to be one of those guys so we'll keep it real Uncle Kyle signing out and uh, I just wanted to after black this but I forgot to mention in my monologue there uh, I initially installed this in my camper van I was going to use it for snowboarding. Uh, I had a bigger pump on there. I think it was for like a 5 kilowatt. This is a 3 kilowatt. Well, that's what it says on the box. It's little, anyway, this is a 2. Whatever. It's a small one and had a big pump on it. And I think that's where all the coke came from. And uh, I should have disassembled it then and there before I installed it into my camper van and before I did all these other modifications. But... Uh, I thought if I just added some injector cleaner, it would uh, it would clean it out, and it obviously didn't. So uh, I just want to throw that in there because I know someone's going to jump in my comments and go, Ugh, "It's because your stuff and uh, uh, your modifications and your your exhaust pipes upside down." And uh, like, come on, man, can you like be positive? Maybe. Add to the conversation, not just try and be a troll. Thanks, man.